Ouch. 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 Hey friends, it's Tracy here. I was just working on knitting a baby blanket for my brother and sister-in-law's upcoming baby and it turned out not the way I expected so I ripped it out and started over again. Now that I'm working on the blanket for the second time and I'm trying to get it done really really fast because their baby's due in like a week, I have been callousing my finger. I don't know if you can see that but it is getting very sensitive with all the poking of the end of the needle. Ouch. So I was like, okay, well I just need like a thimble or something to protect my finger so I can keep knitting super fast, or at least super fast for my novice knitting skills. I was like, okay, well what type of thimble is going to be the best? So I ordered a little set of thimbles from Amazon. I have an old sewing nimble from my grandmother and I happened to stumble upon a pack of like rubber finger guards at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar. So I thought, well, let's just take a look and see which of these four options is best. Option one, finger protector from Dollar Tree. Option two, leather with metal plate protector from Amazon. Option three, finger protector from Amazon. Option four, old sewing thimble from grandma. Let's test each of these and see which one works best. All right, option one, silicone finger protector from Dollar Tree. Pack of three for one dollar. So we're going to knit and we're going to, whoops, press our finger here. All right, that is giving a lot of good padding to my finger. It's also pretty grippy. If I have something that is a looser fiber of yarn, it has enough friction on it that it might make it begin to fray more than it already has. Option two, leather protector that you can use reversibly. This side is double leather. This side has a little metal plate um, so here, let's try that. Oh, that is kind of awkward. <laughs> I think if I got used to it, it would be okay, but after the rubber, which, or the silicone, which was more friction, this is, this feels a little awkward. Let's turn around and see if the side without the metal plate does any better. Yeah, overall not too bad. I think I would still go with the silicone plate over this though. What I just experienced was my needle kind of got stuck there, so it kind of pulled for a minute. Not a big deal, but I think I would rank them so far silicone leather. All right, we're going to try the metal from Amazon, and this one is adjustable. So let me squeeze it so it's tighter. It's okay. Wow, there's no grip to this one at all. So it totally protects you from the needle push, but using it for anything other than really basic stabilization on your needles, like it just slips everywhere. So I'm not sure that it's a great beginner option. It will probably sit in my notions box and just not be used. We'll rank that one number three for now. And finally, sentimental thimble from grandma. I had two, but I've lost one. The other one was slightly thinner, 
are slightly more narrow so it gripped my finger better. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Grandma, that is not going to work for me. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't even get that to knit down. Maybe with practice it would be good, but if I wanted an instant solution that's going to not slow me down in my learning, I would, yeah. Okay. So here's what we've ended up with. Ranking number one, and I did not intend to test these in the order they ranked in, but apparently I did. Rubber thimble marker, or thimble from Dollar Tree. Like I said, it came in a pack of three for one dollar, and there were a variety of color options. Option two, leather finger guard from Amazon. I liked this one because it had this side, which is double the leather, so I mean it was pretty comparable to the finger guard, uh, the silicone finger guard from Dollar Tree. Um, and then this side, if I needed to really push some more oomph into it, I have the metal plate, but I don't know that I'd use this side as much, um, simply because it does have the ability for the needle to get stuck in the edges, causing an extra, I don't know, I don't need that in my life. Okay, so if I'm only going to use this side, then yes, I would rank it as equal to the silicone one from Dollar Tree. These two, I just wouldn't really recommend, sorry grandma, but the thimble just was too slick and definitely not usable, well, easily usable for knitting. However, if you're knitting at home and you're just starting and you have a sewing kit already and you have a thimble, I mean, free with what you have is better than spending money, even if it is only a dollar. All right, and then this one, it it's slippery and it's adjustable, but not really because the springs keep bouncing right back to where they were. So I would use this over the sewing thimble, but not a great option. So definitely Dollar Tree, Amazon, these are my two picks.